to Lynn and David and Phyllis and Tina and Sherry and the whole family and to our reverends, the governor, lieutenant governor, our mayor, and to our police family, to all of you. As the governor said, on behalf of all Hoosiers, from Evansville to Fort Wayne, to South Bend, to Richmond, our hearts are broken. And on behalf of all Americans, I was in Washington this week, and I had a number of people come up and say, are you going to be seeing the family of that good man? And I said, I, I sure hope so. And they said, please tell him, please tell his wife and his dad and his mom and their family how grateful we are for everything he did for his courage and his sacrifice. David, I was reading something in the paper that you said, where you said, don't be sad. Be incredibly proud of everything he did. And what a guy Perry Wren was. What a guy. I, I look and he served our beloved city for over 20 years. But he was also a member of the 82nd Airborne. Over 100 jumps, think of that, 100 jumps. Was in Korea, was in Grenada. And when you look, everything Perry did was about serving others, serving our country, serving our city. And when he served, he chose to do it in the most challenging places and with the most difficult missions because he wanted to know that his neighbors were safe. And for the area he patrolled, one of his main goals, as all of you in the police family are, was to let the neighbors know, I'm here for you. You can count on me. And Perry's on duty, you're good to go. He took the toughest assignments. He didn't have to, but he did. And we were all so lucky to have him in our presence. And I think of the many terms, warrior. As I said, he jumped out of planes a hundred times. That's a hundred times more than I've jumped out of a plane. Loving husband, wonderful son, great brother. He loved his dog. He loved Cato and Hannah and Haley. He protected those in danger, as all of you do. His whole neighborhood where he served is brokenhearted and brokenhearted because he was part of their family too. In the Bible, in John, it says there's no greater love than to lay down your life for another. And that's what he did. He offered his life when he served our country. And he offered his life when he served our city. And Lynn, you never knew any of the nights when he headed out the door, whether he would come home. But he was there every single day for the people of his area, for his city. And we are comforted by the understanding and belief that we will see Perry again. And he is in the hands of a loving God until that time when we're all reunited with him. So, on behalf of every Hoosier and every American, we want to thank you for your husband, for your son, for your brother, because he made our nation a better place and our state a better place and our city a better place. God bless Perry. 
God bless Indiana and God bless America.